Welcome back to our safety series. I'm Rick Anderson from the 143rd ESC Safety Office. In this episode, how to mitigate the risks of operating your private motor vehicle. Engaging in various activities involves different levels of risk. Driving a vehicle is one such activity that requires drivers to take precautions to decrease the risks involved rather than increasing them. Let's start with some eye-popping statistics. Each year, millions of private motor vehicles hit the roads, leading to a significant number of accidents and fatalities. Did you know that in the last year alone, traffic accidents have increased by 6% compared to the previous year? These aren't just numbers. They represent lives, families, and dreams shattered in moments. The severity of these accidents varies, but the common thread is the undeniable risks associated with driving. By understanding these trends, we can start to unravel the web of risks that come with operating a private motor vehicle. Here are some guidelines to follow to manage risk and become a safe and responsible driver. First, accept the responsibilities that come with driving a private motor vehicle, such as do not drive under the influence of drugs or alcohol or while being impaired in any way. Always ensure that you and your passengers wear seat belts. Second, it's most important to follow traffic laws, such as maintaining proper distance, obeying speed limits, staying in the correct lane, and using turn signals. Avoid distracted driving. To maintain a smooth and safe flow of traffic, it is imperative to adhere strictly to traffic laws, drive responsibly, and avoid reckless driving at all times. A key principle that can help achieve this is the golden rule of driving. Treat other drivers the way you want to be treated. Remember, safety is everyone's responsibility, and we must all do our part to ensure that our roads remain safe for all road users. As drivers, we create risks due to our own limitations. Every individual reacts differently to various situations while driving. Additionally, the vehicle we drive has its own limitations. L large vehicles can be less stable and have reduced visibility while smaller vehicles are harder for other drivers to see. The environment we drive in also plays a significant role in determining risks. For instance, driving in areas with hills and mountains requires special skills, and urban or city driving has increased risks due to many people using the roadway. We need to be aware of the risks involved in driving a private motor vehicle and take measures to reduce these risks rather than increase them. Join us next time as we discuss motorcycle safety and as always, remember to prioritize safety both at work and at home. Let's work together to ensure a safe and successful outcome. At work, at home, let safety be known. Sustaining victory, winning matters.